I realize I look absolutely disgusting right now, but that's only because it's animal cleaning day, my least favorite day of the week. And it makes you sweat. Anybody that says cleaning your pets is not a workout, Anyways, I get questions about my cage and how I built my cage all the time. So I want to do a walkthrough on how I built it, everything you need to build it if you want to replicate my cage and so forth. <laughs> so let's get into it. <laughs> oh, why <laughs> she just disappeared? This is where everyone goes while I'm deep cleaning like today. Chester. <laughs> this is my cage that I built myself completely cleaned out. There's... As you can see, absolutely nothing in there. I just got done wiping it down, disinfecting, but this is my cage set up. Also, ignore all the scratches on my chest here. This is what happens when I try to remove Philip from his cage. He throws an absolute tantrum and that boy has talons, so. <laughs> so first I'm gonna talk about the foundation of my cage. So this is everything that I use just to build the foundation. I'm going to have every single thing linked in my Amazon storefront. I will have that linked in my description for you to just tap on and go right to it. But that is where I'm going to have everything listed that I use personally. The first thing, obviously I bought two sets of the CC grids that I have linked two sets of them. And then the second thing I bought was industrial strength zip ties. So you need zip ties and the CC grids and you can build exactly what I have. And then of course I bought like white Christmas lights and artificial leaves to like decorate it and spice it up a little. You don't need those things. Um, all you need is the CC grids and the zip ties. So as you can see, my cage is two by eight. I have a top layer and I have a bottom layer. Now, when I was building this cage, I started by building the bottom layer first. So once I had the two by eight all around and then the bottom, you know, panels of the cage put in, I built up by putting two more CC grids on top of these two. And then I just kind of connected, as you can see. Why are we chewing everything? And then I know you're probably wondering, well, what the heck is, how is, how is it standing? Where's the support in the middle? What I did was see this here. I obviously can't take it out to show you, otherwise my whole cage would collapse. But this is just a CC grid with the film cut out. So I just used the border, the metal rods to put right in the middle. And I put one here and I put one here. So there is two in the middle of this whole thing. And then as for the zip ties, every single place you have a connector, I zip tied it. So it, it is impossible. It is impossible for this thing to fall through. Just a little closer look at that. See these two panels here? I took this zip tie and I zip tied them both together. So even though it's connected with the connector, it's connected with a zip tie too. So it's not coming undone. And then for anyone wondering the exact measurements of how long and how wide this cage is, it is 95 inches long and 24 inches wide. If this video gets a certain amount of views, comments, and likes, then I will take apart the entire thing and rebuild it just to show you guys. But as of right now, that's not happening. <laughs> it's just, it, it is just, mm. But for you guys, I'm considering it, okay? So now it's time to put everything back into the cage. And of course, I will still have everything linked in my Amazon storefront of everything that I used to even put in my cage. But let me go ahead and put it together and show you what it looks like. This is the top layer of my cage when everything's put together. And then this is my bottom layer. with the attitude and then as i said before i have absolutely everything that i use inside and outside of my cage linked in the description under my amazon storefront don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one <laughs>